I think it was created to be good. Um, there's a lot of great advancements that artificial intelligence has allowed for us in society, but it does need to be monitored. So we need to make sure we're being transparent. Uh, we understand where our data is being stored. Margaret, anything you would add? Yeah, I think just the point around transparency, right? Ethics is really important to build that into any AI strategy, understanding the, the algorithms and the bias behind those and trying to drive through some form of neutral approach with AI is really important. So I think, Liz, you're right. I think it's been inherently positive for society. It's driving much better outcomes and it's making our lives simpler. But there is always a risk that things can get disrupted or um, that attacks can happen. And so making sure that that's protected and that ethics sit at the heart of that is really important. So I think when we talk about trust, there are a lot of components. There's the infrastructure, making sure all of their data is protected, making sure that they're able to recover from a catastrophic event. But then there's also the culture of trust within the organization. So things like diversity and inclusion, um, things like how um, their approach to sustainability is and a lot of those components that all come into play when we talk about some of the brands that we like to work with. A couple that come to mind, I think Dell Technologies obviously work at Dell, but um, I do think what they, their approach to sustainability um, and diversity and inclusion um, makes it a great place to work because I feel like I'm really contributing to driving human progress. I think Liz is right. I think she's touched on the main points really. It is about making sure that the principles behind the organization are all about creating a greater society outcome and, and making it better for everybody so sustainability how we treat workers and um, different approaches to valuing difference in the workplace diversity inclusion even the focus on innovation and trying to work with social enterprises to better all of society and not just the elite few is really important So I think that's a really great question, right? I think it's a question that we're all grappling with. Senior leaders, junior leaders, middle managers. I think what we really want to see and what we'd encourage all chief execs and senior C-suite leaders is to really understand some of the risks, the threats out there. They don't need to know the nth detail of it, but they certainly need to understand um, what the risk landscape is for their environment and for their organization and where are the major risks and how are they exposed. So that comes through awareness, it comes through education, it comes through putting a good risk management plan and Place and a good strategy in place for cybersecurity right across the organization. It doesn't mean that it's stuck with the CISO or the Chief Risk Officer. We really want this embedded right across all functional units and it needs to be led from the top down. Liz, do you want to add anything? No, I think you've really touched on everything. Um, I do think organizations need to realize that it's not um, if, it's when uh, a catastrophic cyber attack can happen. So making sure that they don't take this personally, no one is perfect, but really making sure there's a solid approach to security and resiliency across the business and strong leadership, which you've touched on. Yeah.